गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल द सेशन वॉज स्टार्टेड विथ ए वेलकम नोट एंड आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर दैट आई एम जस्ट फॉर गेटिंग द टॉपिक मैम सो आई सेल आई सेल टेल इट इन ब्रीफ सो आफ्टर दैट द आफ्टर वेलकम नोट द ओरिजिनल सेशन वॉज स्टार्टेड एंड इन सम टोटल वी हैव अटेंडेड फोर टू फाइव सेशन स्टडे and these sessions were very knowledgeable uh from the e content point of view if the if the participants and if the trainees will follow these sessions then they will be able to do all these things in their states so uh, between the session um, uh, in between the session you have so a lot of uh, video clips also no uh video clips of uh, say jwala mukhi in hindi i think so and like that so these sessions were very valuable no and uh, we shall try to we shall try to inculcate all these things which you have uh, given us yesterday and uh, we shall try to develop our our own e content with the help of all the participants thank you ma'am all right thank you sir for giving us a brief overview the first <laughs> session was icd initiatives at at india with emphasis on diksha yeah However, yeah ma'am i have uh, just forgotten that Topics, no worries no? sir no worries sir we are actually here to learn and it is a human tendency we don't have a computer memory and yeah, uh, it's okay as long as you are able to share your major takeaways and the essence of the training sessions that were held today i think the purpose is solved as a learner as a trainer we have multiple resource persons here and uh, thank you once again sir for uh, wonderfully uh, giving an overview of yesterday's session uh in a very brief manner thank you so thank much thank you sir. thank you very much ma'am uh, and i hope that today we are, we are going to uh, today also we are going to get a lot of knowledge from your sites your team sites for sure sir. we have some so, exciting sessions lined up for so you anticipation of the knowledge thank you ma'am then uh the next state that we were planning to have for today was assam so i would like to know if anyone from assam was deputed or not for giving us a brief summary uh you can unmute yourself participant from assam anyone good morning ma'am okay. good morning sir uh, this good is morning, uh, dr rajkiran dole uh, on behalf of team assam i would like to present yesterday's uh deliberations yes sir um day one of the uh, five day srg training Uh, on e-content development, comprising the states Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim, Tripura, Kerala, and uh, Union Territory Lakshadweep, has started with the uh, online registration of the participants through a link provided to the group. Then the inaugural session was started, and Dr. Rajol Karim Borhuya briefly <laughs> delivered his inaugural address. Thereafter, a detailed overview on the ICT in initiatives taken up in India was deliberated upon by Dr. Gulshan Mufid. through her elaborate powerpoint presentation she discussed how ict has been evolved over the period of time since 1980s to nb 2020 and she also talked about diksha how this platform can be used for teaching learning process in school education as well as for professional development of an individual uh then dr monica uh, monica nagpal had ex exposed the participants to the joinmyquiz.com through which the participants demonstrated their prior knowledge or the existing knowledge on open educational resources and different dimensions of ict by means of their acquired scores during the online quiz afterwards the participants were given exposure to digital resources oers online courses copyright intellectual property rights licenses creative commons e contents and its different types etc the session uh, of the second half was started by dr bharti koshik who took the participants through accessible digital resources universal design of learning needs in the inclusive classroom need of proper format that uh, may be audio or visual or tactile uh, language abilities backgrounds etc in order to access digital contents or resources by all types of learners so we also emphasize that while making a digital content we should always focus on the learning needs of the students present in our classroom and also the demand of the content the last session was taken by dr monika nagpal again who discussed the participants about the script writing and storyboarding 
she reiterated that the script writer must consider certain points before going to write any script or creating any e-content, such as learning theories, objectives, individual differences of the learners. She also discussed about different steps to be followed in the script writing, development and production, the devices which can hold learners' attention, elements of a good script, etc. She demonstrated a model script and e-content on the discovery of will. Uh, Ms. Priyakshi Gupta and Ms. Nidhi Atlakha had very smoothly taken forward the sessions by their active engagement and acted as the moderators very efficiently throughout all the sessions. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. I think it was just a mirror-like flashback of the sessions that we had yesterday, starting from the first hour till the last hour of our first day. Thank you so much, sir. And... Uh, I think it just deserves a huge round of applause for the way you have explained. So I'll just clap here for you. And uh, wonderful, wonderful. It feels so amazing to see how our participants are active, engaged, and have been patiently uh, involved throughout the sessions with our resource persons. And it actually makes this training session a two-way uh, process. Indeed, you really deserve a uh, clap emoji here as well on Zoom. I can see Suravi ma'am giving you a clap emoji there. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, so it was just, we just kickstarted our uh, training session yesterday. We are on our second day of the training. And I assure you that today you will be having even more fun, I would say, because uh, you will be exploring more tools today in creating content. So I would also request you to have a, a laptop or a computer or any such device handy where you can download the required software and practice away. Because what happens is when we are attending a session, viewing and listening is one thing, but practicing is another thing. And that is where you have the power and your ideas. And when your power of creating the content along with your ideas coexist, you will be able to create magic in this SRG training. So I would also like to wish you all the very best because these are the resources which you will be submitting thereafter as a part of the assignment at the end of these training sessions. So, uh, I can see that our next resource person has also joined it. So uh, in today's session, we will begin by learning how to provide engaging and accessible information using infographics. For this, I would like to invite our first resource person of the day, Dr. Gulshan Mufid, who is working as a senior academic consultant <coughs> in uh, CIT and CRT, and ma'am will be giving us an interesting session on graphic resources, concept, purpose, type, development process, and hands-on. So over to you, Gulshan ma'am, and a very warm welcome to you. Thank you, Priyakshi ma'am, uh, and welcome to all the participants from our northeastern uh, region. So. Uh, I'm just sharing my screen and I'm opening my PPT. So give me a few minutes, please.
Ma'am is uh, sharing her PPT. I would again like to remind all the participants to have uh, uh, such a kind of device handy where you can download the software, the required software of the session and practice the hands-on, uh, practice the content creation technique using the desired tool in the hands-on session as well. Thank you. Uh, also, Bardali Purya Purka Yasta Ji, Bormoti Tato Ji, and Sisila Ji, I can see that you are yet to rename yourself as per the state code shared. I'm just calling out the names of the participants who are required to rename themselves. Uh, Dayarisa Lingdo uh, Ji, Dhanya Ji, Dichen Ji, participant named E4477295 G, and Hava Lalu ji, Hiroshi Basumatri ji, Johnny Talo ji, Madiki Ralti ji, Mani Dipa Ganchaudri ji, Mitali Vaishya ji. Uh, Priyakshi ma'am, uh, I've joined back. Uh, kindly yes. allow me the screen sharing, please. Sure. I'll just uh, get that fixed ma'am. Please bear with me for a second. Uh, Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Co host yes, rights are given. Yeah, thank you. Yes. No worries. So uh, please confirm if my screen is visible to you. Yes, ma'am, it is visible. Thank you.
so let's discuss uh, what are the graphic resources and how we create create it so today uh, today we are going to explore one more uh, graphic creation tool which is known as canva but first of all uh, let's discuss uh, what is uh, what are graphics and uh, uh, what is the definition of graphics uh, can anyone uh, share with me uh, in the chat box what do they understand by the term graphics so i am not able to see the chat box piyakshi ma'am if uh, you can uh, tell uh, is there any response from the participants ma'am i think they are all thinking and we will be having okay. responses shortly okay okay and uh, responses we can take uh, afterwards also yes so, so graphics see, yeah gulshan ma'am there is one response from anuradha ma'am that says graphic hmm. resources are visual images visual representation of a concept image video text diagram design yeah. info through picture these yes. are some of the responses that we have received yes any information uh, right ma'am uh, whatever you have shared with us is uh, very correct whatever we are presenting in a graphical form uh, whatever information we are presenting in a graphical form it can be called as graphics and graphics as you can see in my slide graphics can be of uh, many types it could be charts it could be maps because we share information with the help of charts also we can show the directions the locations uh, in the maps we can share graphics we can create graphics uh, in, the, in the form of diagrams also as we know in the diagrams we just draw diagram of uh, anything and uh, we label the uh, particular um, uh, object in that diagram and uh, photographs is also another type of uh, graphics images uh are the example of graphics drawings and paintings are also the example of the graphics so anything which can be presented in a graphical form uh, which have a visual representation could be uh, called as graphics and what are the importance of graphics if we say uh if we share any information in the form of graphics uh, with our students then it it can uh, obviously enhance their memory it can uh, because uh, children can remember those things which are presented in the form of graphically or the graphical representation is there so better memory for pictures than for corresponding words and the user uh because we are uh, talking graphics in the area of education so our users uh, will be uh, the, our students so we can say that the students can extract information from the graphics on a particular subject and obviously uh, if you explain them uh, in the form of graphics any topic any um, uh, any concept you are explaining them uh with the help of graphics and you are uh, uh, creating graphics in a very attractive manner it, it will definitely develop their conceptual understanding and uh, they will learn uh, that particular topic in a very exciting way uh, sorry and, to interrupt kulshan ma'am ma'am are yes? you by any chance changing your slides or are we still on our first slide as i can see the participants are saying i that. have changed okay i have changed the slide but uh, i think it is, it is not, not visible. visible to them no okay. no it is not visible let me share no, it again slide is not changing okay one second ma'am
dear team, please bear with us. We are just uh, fixing the technical uh, issue at the back end. And you will have the slides as well as the session uh, ongoing very shortly. Thank you for your patience, dear participants. Uh, good morning, everyone. Dr. Gulshan will be joining from my system in a minute. So I'm just starting the screen share for the convenience. Oh, Monica, ma'am. Uh, Monica, ma'am. Uh, thank you. Thanks for sharing. Can you please change the slide? And uh, can we come to the third slide? Right. Thank you. Thanks. You can tell me this. Uh, you can tell me the yeah. slide where to stop here only. So yes, we have discussed this slide, but uh, that time the slide was not moving. Uh, but we were discussing the importance of graphics. Uh, the next slide. Yes, thank you. Sorry for the inconvenience, uh, dear participants. I'm really sorry uh, because my system was not working properly right now. <laughs> so I took help of Dr. Monica. Yes. So uh, we were discussing the importance of graphics and uh, we have already discussed that if we create a graph, if we explain something, some concept to our students with the help of graphics, it will definitely give them the conceptual uh, understanding, conceptual clarity, and it will uh, develop their uh, concepts uh, in a very exciting manner. So uh, as we have already discussed that graphics are the visual representation of the data. If you want to represent uh, any information, any data in an easy manner, you can take help of the graphics and it should be the graphics should be according to the. Uh, the graphics should be as per the need of the students, as per the age of the students, as per the class of the students we are teaching. So obviously, uh, if we are using graphics into our teaching learning process, it will add the valuable context and information and the information which you are sharing with the students, you can explain them, you can make them understand in a very less time. So obviously, the graphics can save your time, it can save your resources if you are uh, using the graphical information, if you are uh, explaining uh, any uh, concept to the students in a graphical manner, and you can also convey that information in a very quick and easy manner to the uh, to your stakeholders to your masses. Uh, yeah, the next slide please ma'am. So here is an example of infographics where I have tried to show you how we can represent the information in a graphical format. So you can see this slide and on the left hand side, you can see how to wear a non-medical fabric mask safely and what are the do's of using this mask. So uh, uh, I have tried to represent the information in a graphical manner with the help of uh, graphics. So if we are going to explain someone, what are the uh, do's and don'ts of uh, using a non-medical fab fabric mask in the, a lecture uh, kind of thing. So it won't be very clear to them, but if you are going to explain them in a, gra a graphical manner, if you are going to use uh, interesting graphics, an attractive graphics, then it will definitely explain the concept clearly, uh, and they can get what are you, what are you trying to explain them. So, are you not able to see the screen? 
because I've just seen one message uh, which says that nothing on the screen. Uh, no, ma'am, that was uh, shared previously when okay, we were okay. fixing the PPT, not now. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So on the other hand, on the right hand side, uh, there is any, uh, there is the other type of infographic which is presented in the form of chart. You can uh, see the progress of students according to the year. Uh, this, uh, the first infographic shows the courses, the below that the courses you can see the chart of students which shows the progress from the year uh, 2014 till 2018. So these are the few examples how we can uh, present uh, any information in a graphical manner. So next slide, please. We are using uh, the term the infographic. Why we are? Uh, why do we call? Uh, what is the definition of, of infographic and why it is uh, called infographic? Because uh, in infographics we are presenting we uh, the information in a graphical format. Uh, we have already discussed this. Uh, so next slide, ma'am. Infographics in the field of education, it can be used as the visual aids. And also you can use uh, the infographics as a discussion starters uh, before starting any topic into your class. You can just show any infographic based on uh, the lesson uh, you are going to teach in the class and you can start a discussion on that topic so that uh, you can brainstorm your students and you can take out the ideas, what they are thinking, what are their uh, ideas about that particular chapter, that particular topic which you are going to teach in your class. So it can be used as the discussion starters. And also, if you can use infographics as an, an overview of your lesson and obviously for visualizing the data, uh, data which you are uh, going to explain to your students. Yes, ma'am, next slide, please. The major features of infographics are the infographics are or infographics should be comprehensive. It should explain that thing, that information which you are trying to deliver to your students, which you are trying to explain to your students. So all information should be there in your infographics and it should be comprehensive in nature. And uh, it, it should be visually very appealing to them. And the next feature of infographic is whenever you are going to teach with the help of graphics to your students, whenever you are trying to explain the topic to your class with the help of graphics, it retains uh, the topic retains into their uh, memory and they can uh, they can better understand that particular topic or that particular concept so these are some features of infographics here again there is an example of infographic So you can uh, see, uh, we can create uh, infographic in the search format. Uh, here, uh, we have tried to show the comparison between uh, the coffee and tea. You can uh, create infographics as per your choice, as per the need of uh, the class and the need of the chapter. Uh, in the next uh, infographic, you can uh, see, uh, we have shown a consensus type of uh, example. And uh, in the next infographic, uh, we have shown the process of photosynthesis. And the last infographic, it is an example of a timeline. You can also create uh, any infographic of your choice uh, with the help of uh, Canva, which we are going to explain you uh, in the hands-on session. So next slide, ma'am. Next slide, please. Yes, here I have shared some infographic tools. Uh, with the help of these tools, you can create uh, the infographics. The first one is Canva. 
the second one is easily vangage picto chart wise me infogram visualize.p and there are many more tools uh, with the help of which you can create infographics so here is the home page of canva today we are going to explore uh, this uh, uh, infographic creation tool uh, which is known as canva uh, this is the home page of that we will do uh, we will uh, discuss how we can download this canva and how we can create uh, <clears throat> the templates and the designs uh, and the infographics with the help of this tool uh, yes ma'am next slide please whenever you open canva uh, in your google chrome it will ask you to sign in or to sign up you can sign in uh, by your canva id uh, in this tool or you can uh, sign in with the help of your google email id or with the help of your facebook email id then after signing in the next slide please ma'am after signing in you will get this home page where a lot of templates are available a lot of features are available with the help of which you can create very interesting infographics uh, next slide ma'am here on the left hand side you can see the choosing template options on the first menu you can see that it is the option of templates whenever you click this uh, button a number of templates will open and you can uh, choose template of your choice and under these uh, template option you can see the option of elements the option of uploads the formatting option that is the text option you can create your own projects and you can uh, add videos to your infographics and there are uh, many more options which are uh, which we are going to explore yes next slide ma'am okay this we will uh, do in the hands on session uh, can we have the next slide how we can add elements yes this we will explain okay ma'am next slide so in google slides also there is an option of uh, creating a graphics here i have shown you one example only one in this slide uh, i have tried to show that we can add graphs to our google slides in a very attractive manner yeah okay ma'am thank you so uh, this is all about google slides we will do this uh, in the hands on session yeah we can have the uh, we we do have the page setup option also in the google slide we can uh, set up our slides in the horizontal manner or in the vertical manner in the google slide whenever you are creating uh, the ppt with the help of google slides you can add the video option also there uh, you can add video also with the help of video option and there are other options also you, as you can see uh, you can add images text box audios uh, shape of your choice tables charts diagrams etc yes yes okay uh, we can add uh, different type of diagrams in google slides also uh, this we will do uh, practically ma'am so uh, thank you monica ma'am for sharing the screen let yeah let me start with the hands on uh, we will create one infographic with the help of canva yeah ma'am ma'am thank you yeah okay thanks monica ma'am no problem so i'll so i request all the participants to open your google chrome in your laptops
simply open the google chrome and type canva edit and uh, the very first link uh is my screen visible to all yes it is visible okay thank you so the very first link uh, which is uh, www.canva.com just click on that because i have already signed in so it is showing my email id with my image and if you are not signed in i request you to all sign in into this application so that we can start creating infographics here you can see here you can see the home page of canva and on the top right side where my cursor is you can see a button of creating a design create a design whenever you click on it it will ask you the options in which you want to create a design the first one is do you want to create a design in on whiteboard you do you want to create a logo a facebook po post a facebook cover a, a, a4 document presentation infographic instagram story worksheets etc comic strip you can create group work phone wallpaper desktop wallpaper brainstorm infographic uh the story uh the story which we usually uh upload on our uh, social media you can create the same story here with the help of uh, canva and on the home page uh you will be able to see the same options with major headings again it is uh it is showing you uh some templates under this option for you under whiteboard you will get some more options if you click on whiteboard it will show you the example of templates of whiteboards on which you can create your infographics you can explore more options the third options if you want to create presentations just click on the third option of presentation and you can create presentations in the form of this talking presentation mobile first presentation there are many templates under this uh, under every option you can also create videos you can also create websites and under more option you can get more templates so i am just going to uh, i am uh, right now uh, just explaining uh, the home page to you where you can get a number of templates here you can see under the home option on the left hand side of the home page there is a option of templates when you click on it when you click on on it you can get again example of a uh, temp uh, sample of templates and you can choose template according to your choice and according to the topic which you are uh, going to explain so uh, let's try this one template i'm uh, this these are the templates as per the subject here it says browse by subject so we we are having the template of marketing business english math computer science it is for designing for science for arts social studies 
and if you want to explore more, uh, more uh, then you can click on see all button So we are going to try one template for English subject. Whenever you click on that subject template, you again get a lot of sample of templates based on that particular subject. Oh, Mega, uh, sorry to interrupt once again, ma'am. Uh, actually, there's a uh, chat in the chat box that says that you're going a bit fast. So if you could just moderate the speed of it. Okay, okay. Sorry. Achha. And I ate song. Hai. Thank you. So I am stopping here. You can choose template of your choice and we will create one interesting uh, infographic. So I have chosen uh, the template of English. I'm going back and showing you again how I have come here. Also, there is uh, another participant uh, stating that they are asking for some ID card for creating account in Canva. So is that a concern? You can, uh, uh, no, you can um, uh, sign in with your uh, Gmail ID or you can sign in with your uh, Facebook ID, ma'am. Or you can create your own ID in Canva. ID card, no, no ID card is required for creating any account. Just sign, simply sign in uh, with your Gmail ID. Yes. Okay, yes, yes, I, I, I have come to the home page, uh, sir. <clears throat> Let's start again. I think there is one uh, doubt, common doubt with each participant that whether we need to sign in first in order to create the resources. Uh, if you uh, sign in and you create resources uh, in Canva, you can uh, have the option of uh, uh, saving your uh, uh, templates uh, in your account. Otherwise, you won't be able to save the work you are creating. So it is a benefit uh, if you uh, sign in and create uh, infographics. So I'm uh, going to start again how we entered Canva. Simply type Google. And your laptop and just search for Canva. Here you can get the first link of this canva.com, the very, very first link, free design tool presentation, video, social media, Canva. Click on it. And you'll come to the homepage of uh, Canva after signing it. Yes, sir, I'm doing with you. I hope everyone is on this screen, the homepage of Canva.
We have participants. Please bear with us. Please bear with us. Uh, our yes, participant. I, I back. Uh, yeah. Okay, ma'am is back. Disconnect. Who was that? अच्छा Dear participants, Gulshan Ma'am is joining back shortly. I would again request you uh, to bear with us and thank you once again for your patience and understanding. So we were here. I was just uh, telling how we can go to Canva. Uh, simply type Canva. I hope you have done this and uh, you have reached to the home page of Canva. So on the left hand side, just click on the templates and you can get a number of templates. So now you can see uh, all the templates which are available. Uh, these are a sample of templates. You can edit, you can modify the templates as per your need, as per your choice. So I just select, these are the templates uh, as per the subjects. You can browse the templates according to the subjects you are going to teach. So I hope we are together. I had selected uh, the template of English. Is that okay? You all, you all have got this, uh, these templates. So you can take any template of your choice. Suppose I have taken this. As I have selected this template, I get all the designs which I can add to this template or I can uh, modify this template as per my need. So uh, these are the 
uh, these are some images and text which are already there in uh, this template and we can edit this template as per our choice so we can add and remove the elements from this template simply we don't need this image so we just select this image and press the delete button from our keyboard okay Again, I it is not required. Uh, this uh, text, what is written already there on the template. I deleted this. I selected this and uh, press the delete button from my keyboard. As you can see on the left hand side, there are the option of designs. There are the option of elements. So you can add these images, which is also here in the homepage of Canva, it is given as elements. You can add elements of your choice and you can modify your template. So suppose we are creating a worksheet of English language and we are teaching uh, the pre-primary class. So uh, I am going to make them identify the English alphabets. I can simply add an image of, I want to make them learn uh, how an apple looks like. So if you write apple in the search bar, you will get a number of elements, a number of images uh, related to the word which I am searching, which is Apple. So for primary class, I think this image is suitable. I have selected this image and as I have just click on this image, it quickly comes to my template. I can resize this image as per the size of my template or as per the topic. So I have inserted this image of Apple on my template. You can see there are number of options here. When I, uh, when I uh, typed Apple on the search bar, it is asking me for Apple logo. It is asking me for green Apple. And it is asking me for, uh, and uh, because uh, I have selected all, then all the fruits are coming when I have selected a particular image. So I have taken the image of my choice. Now I want to add text in front of this. Simply, I will click on the text option, and in this heading uh, um, uh, so after clicking after clicking this text option i will add a heading against this image for this i have to click the heading option this just uh, i hope you are seeing this as soon as i click this heading option a uh, text box a uh, text box appears on the worksheet I can move this text box in front of my image and I also can resize this text book, uh, text box, sorry. And just add the text into this text box. You can also Format your text with the help of formatting toolbar, which is uh, which is given on uh, the top of this template. Here you can see this A button. This is uh, this uh, will help you in changing the color of the text. I am going to change the color of text into red color, and here you can see. 
it has changed. You can also make it bold with the help of this bold option. You can also uh, align your text into uh, the uh, 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 with the help of left alignment, center alignment, and right alignment. You can also add bullets. These are the common features which are available on uh, any uh, uh, Windows application if you use. So now I want to add one more object into my template. For this, I have to click again on the elements. So now this A for Apple and I am going to explain them. I'm going to teach what B for ball. So you can simply type here and you can uh, search the element of your choice. Now, as you can see, many types of many uh, types of balls appears here uh, there are uh, lots of designs also but one more thing i want to highlight that you are maybe you are able to see this pro button on the elements or on any feature of canva this pro button shows that this feature is paid and this feature is not free for you so we are not going to use any uh, option which uh, for which you have to pay. We are going to take all uh, any element which is free. So I will take this football. This doesn't have the crown uh, symbol and uh, it is not showing that it is a paid element. So again, I will resize this according to my choice and put it here. Then again, if I want to add text against this object, simply I have to click on text button and add heading. Just remove this text and add text as per your choice. You can move your text. Simply select it and with the help of this touchpad into your laptop or with the help of your mouse, you can move the text. You can also change the color. These are the simple features. You can also resize the text and resize this whole text box. Here you can see under, under the template option, there are many designs of templates. You can use these designs also, but make sure that the design should not be a pro version. It should be free. And also you can, uh, because I'm creating an infographic of my choice uh, of my uh, subject. So that's why I am choosing uh, the elements of my choice. But here are the elements. There are many elements already given. In this, you can take any element of your choice and you can add to your infographic. Suppose I am writing a, uh, I am writing a poem or I am writing a story. I am going to teach a story in, into my classroom and uh, the story has, it is about Cinderella. <laughs> so I can uh, take the elements of uh, those elements which are relevant to th uh, that story. So you can add 
or remove the elements as per your choice. Now, uh, one more thing. I This is a, only an example. I am going to uh, tell you some more features. You can also uh, animate your image with the help of this animate option. Suppose we have completed our uh, infographic and we want to animate that infographic or a particular uh, object. We will just uh, select that object and we can select the animation option. So if we select this, the second one pan, you can observe that it is moving as per the animation we have selected. If we select rise, then it will come from downwards to upwards. If we select this fade option, it will come, it will appear in a faded manner. You can also choose the directions. Uh, you can choose the upward direction, downward directions. And these are the some options of animation which you can add to your infographic. You can also flip the image. Flip horizontally, you can flip it vertically, you can crop it as per your need. Suppose you are done with your infographic and you have created any, an interesting infographic and you want to save it, then you can save it in the similar manner. You uh, usually save your work in your uh, MS Office application. Just click on this file option. And here you can see the save button. Simply click on it and it will get saved. This is something uh, working like in the Google Drive. Whenever we work in Google Drive, our work automatically saves, uh, get, 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 got saved. And uh, uh, simply uh, in this Canva also, whenever we create any project any infographic it automatically saves in this application and because you have uh, logged in from your uh, email id and uh, again whenever you open your email id in canva <clears throat> you can get your work already saved there so let's come again to the home page of canva Let's try creating one infographic for social media. Here, you can see a number of templates again. And you want to create a Facebook post for you. Normally we all have our Facebook account. So let's just select this one. This is a ready-made template. We have to, uh, we want to modify it and we want to edit it. We again can add elements as per our choice. Uh, this is the December month and we are going to celebrate Christmas. So let's prepare one. Christmas post for our Facebook. Here you can see number of templates based on the Christmas festival. You can choose any of your choice. Suppose I'm taking this.
here you can see the text is written merry christmas you can edit this text as per your choice just simply select it or you want to add text to this you just want to add text of your choice you will just select it and uh, delete this and with the help of textbook add the heading into this template Just change the color of the text. You can change the text style, font style. You can also add images to this template with the help of elements. Make it bigger, just select it and change the font color and change the font style. And with the help of a ready-made template, I uh, we have created an infographic for our Facebook post. So you can uh, see there is an option of add page also. If you want to add one more page to this creation of yours, you can click on it and add one more page. And you can create one more page. to this social media post of yours. So this is only an example. You can add elements of your choice. <laughs> I hope till now we are together and we are doing this uh, infographics together. If yes, then may I proceed to another option? You can save it. Uh, just, I've just uh, explained you. Just click on the file option and here you can see the save button and it is saying that all changes are saved. So I've just said that uh, the same manner we are working in the Google Drive and our uh, work got automatically saved. Uh, the, uh, the similarly, in the Canva also, our work got automatically saved in here. So whenever you log in into your ID in Canva, you can get your already created work here. So no need to worry about uh, saving your work. Okay. So here is one more option. See, now I have created this infographic. Okay. And as in Google Drive, we share our work with our peers also, with our colleagues also, and to the concerned persons. Similarly, we can share our work here in Canva also with the help of this share button. If I want to share this, post which I have just created with my friend, I can click on this share button and I can add his or her email ID here. Suppose I am going to share this work with my one of my friend.
if that friend is using canva then it will uh, you will be able to share this work to him or her if that friend is not using this application that uh, he or she may get the invite to use canva so just click on the send button and your work work with be share with your colleague or your friend okay i hope it is clear so there is is one more interesting thing about using this application with the help of text option you can add notes to your slide or to your template uh sorry to interrupt ma'am i just wanted to give a time check we are left with another 15 minutes before we okay. take the break so uh just wanted to give a time check reminder okay thank you thank you prakshi ma'am for reminding there are a few more features that i just want to share with uh, all so uh, one of our respected participants has asked that how we can add notes to our template so sir you can just click on this text option which is uh, provided here on the left hand side and just click on the heading there are all options as you can see add a heading add a subheading add a title uh, add a little bit of body text so if you want to add only one line to your template you can just click on add heading if you want to add a, a subheading also then you can add to subheading if you want to add the main heading and you want to explain something about the heading then you can click on the subheading option also but here it is not needed that's why i have not selected the subheading option i am just de uh, deleting this and you, as you can see uh, our background has also gone so if uh, it uh, if the same thing happens to you you can simply click the undo button okay or you can simply click control z from your keyboard now you can uh, click this text box and delete it okay just click undo and add a heading here in this manner you can add, add text to your template now i request you all to create uh, templates uh, to create infographics and share with us the last feature which i want to explain not last but one more feature because there are a lot of features in this canva and we don't have that much time that we uh, can take every feature of it but one of the more fe uh, most important feature of canva is that you can lock your work so that another participant to whom you have shared your work uh, won't be able to edit your infographic so if you uh, want to lock your infographic just simply select it as you can see i have selected this slide and then here you can see a lock button just click on this lock button and now a lock will appear here on this slide it means that the another person won't be able to edit this slide okay so this is uh, one of the very interesting feature of canva o only you will be able to edit it and only you will be uh, able to modify it no one else can uh, edit or modify your work okay so i request you to explore more features of uh, canva and create at least one infographic of your subject and share with us so any questions to upload your work you have to click on the upload button sir just 
let me explain it one more time. I'm just telling you how you can upload your, uh, uh, suppose if you want to upload any video or any audio to your slide, I'm just explaining this thing. I'm only searching for a free template. As we can see here are the this uh, pro version templates also available there. So let's just select one free template. Suppose I've taken this template. Yes, sir, on this uh, left-hand side under the elements, you can see the upload option. With the help of this option, you can upload your work or you can upload any image, you can upload any video or audio uh, and add it into your uh, template. Okay, sir. Here, the upload button is uh, here on the left-hand side. And the next question. Second slide, uh, yes. Here you can see the add page button. Under this given template, there is uh, an option of add page. With Whenever you click on this option, <clears throat> another page is going to add. Upload ho gaya. Uh, any more question, Priyakshi, ma'am? Uh, ma'am, there is one more question uh, that says, is there any pre-existing no. audio file? Like the, this last one, yes. Huh. Pre-existing mm -hmm. audio files in Canva. Yes, sir, there are some audios which are there uh, in this application. You can search for those or you can add audio if you already have saved in your PC or uh, laptop. You can add uh, the audio of your choice also. And also one more thing I want to share that uh, Canva has uh, the mobile app application also. So you can access this through your mobile also. Any more question? And somebody is mentioning could not find audio file in Canva. Okay, you sir, explore it once. And we will help you. Now, if anyone want to share his or her screen, uh, who uh, has created a template because we are going at your pace. And there's one more As question. As per your request. Uh, sorry, there's one more question. Can we get chart and diagram in Canva? Ha, yes, obviously. We can add charts to uh, in Canva also. Yes, there is option of adding charts. And yes, in Google slide also in the uh, presentation, I was telling you that uh, Google uh, slides also offers a lot of option of creating uh, graphics into them. And we can add videos there also. Uh, I hope all, all of you have used the Google Slides. If not, then I can demonstrate them also.
So I request you all to create at least one small infographic, a very basic infographic with the help of Canva and share with us. I've just stopped my screen and I request to share your screen if you want to share your creation with us. We can take one or two only because time is, time is less and rest of the creations we can, uh, we would request you to share on our WhatsApp group. Uh, where you have shared the link, ma'am? Uh, WhatsApp group. Can we take uh, one or two presentation, uh, Prayakshi, ma'am? Yes, ma'am, we can take. <laughs> so just kindly tell who wants to present. Uh, we will allow screen sharing to him or her. Uh, I can see uh, uh, Raj. from Kerala and Raj Kiran Dole. Uh, mm, we G. can take this too. Yes. Okay. Yes, if it is convenient for you to share on WhatsApp, you can share there also. And uh, we are taking your presentation only so that uh, others can also see uh, what you have explored. And if there is any scope of um, adding more visual or adding more value to it, then we can uh, discuss. Okay, thanks. Thanks for sharing. We will check it. Uh, dear participants, we have given you the access to share your screen. So, uh, Joby John, sir, from Kerala, you can share your screen. Access is given to you for some time. On WhatsApp, everyone can share, sir. Uh, Anu, uh, uh, Anuji. Okay. Yes, WhatsApp, uh, on WhatsApp, Everyone can share. It's not only that admin can share. So, uh, ma'am, Joby John uh, G is sharing. Okay. Yes. Canva presentation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I am using Canva uh, for the last two months for my educational purposes. Okay. We are creating. So can you can you share your experience of using uh, this application, uh, sir? Uh, it's a very good tool. I am using uh, the paid version so I can um, clear the backgrounds e very easily mm. for this. Uh, it's a very good tool. Very easy to study. And what is... So, what, sir, what do you have created uh, just now? Can you please share? I created uh, posters for our uh, school uh, office programs. Uh, okay. here, here is a. Is there something in English so that everyone can uh, would be able to read that, sir? Because uh, we are not getting this language, sir. Sorry. So it is something about your school program, which you are uh, organizing or which, or which you have organized. Hello? Uh, yes, sir. Joby John, are you there? Can I share? Uh, Gulshan, ma'am, how many more uh, sharing can be accommodated? One more? I think Vaisak yes. sir wanted to share. Okay, okay, so we'll we just... can take one, only one. Only one. So, Vaisak yeah. sir, you can share your screen. Yes, so uh, Vaisak sir from Kerala is sharing his screen.
Vice Act, sir, I think once you open your resource and then share your screen, then we'll probably be able to uh, see the file. Right now, we can only see your downloads file manager. I think the first file, sir, you want to share. That has been created on at 11.14. So first you open that file and then you share that screen. Already I opened the uh, file. Right, sir. So, sir, uh, you can uh, stop your screen share and start it once again and select the page where your uh, Canva file is open. Okay, okay, okay. That way we'll be able to see what you have created, sir. Can you see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are able to see. Now I prepared the uh, file. Oh, file these are the that. pamphlets, sir. Yes. Okay. Very interesting. Yes. Very interesting. Thanks for creating this. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome. Can I stop? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. All right. So with that, we have come to the end of our uh, I mean, part one of graphic resources. And I would like to thank Gulshan Ma'am for taking us through the creation, the process of, okay, I think so. Okay, so there's one retirement wish for someone. So congratulations to the concerned person and congratulations to the participant for creating such a nice floral uh, graphic. And uh, so uh, you all can continue creating these resources, explore Canva further, as Gushan Ma'am said. And I would once again like to extend my heartfelt thanks to Ma'am for taking us through the process of creating infographics and explaining uh, ex explaining the, the concept of creation along with mentioning other tools that you can explore. So thank you once again, Ma'am. And thank you. with this, and with this, we are going to take a short break of 15 minutes and we will be back at 11.35 sharp. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Jainti, Ms. Jainti has asked that the Canva app, yes, you can find it in the Play Store. Yes. It's there in the Play Store. I, okay. Chalo, thanks for joining and bye-bye. For now, we will meet in another session of creating graphics. Bye-bye. Okay. So also, uh, dear participants, uh, the WhatsApp setting has been uh, restricted for the time being so that you can fill in the attendance using the Google form link, which is shared in the chat box. Like I mentioned in the morning, that this is mandatory for all the participants so that uh, we can uh, track your presence throughout the sessions, uh, in the morning sessions, as well as in the evening sessions. And a gentle reminder, you're supposed to fill in your official name. Please do not add your state code when you fill in your attendance. State code is only for your Zoom uh, name, the Zoom meeting name. Thank you. So I'll see you now at 11.35. Thank <laughs> you.